Hey guys, Rexasaur here and welcome to episode 9 of Roma Surrection 2. Yes, I remembered the episode number because I looked just at the end of last episode, which was recorded like 3 minutes ago for me. Anyway, let's go. Last time when we left off, we defeated a rebel army near Mediolanen, and that's what we will be attacking in the following turn. But first, we have some buildings to do. We have a lot of cash. We have a lot, a lot of cash. We're going to build roads here. Because um, Genoa needs roads. We might build a port at some point as well. Uh, city river ports, tax income bonus of 20%, that is pretty good. Citizenship granted soon, my dears. Client state barracks. Um, these look pretty good. I am not going to lie. They do take only two turns as well. And it doesn't look like we are, uh, we kind of need happiness bonus penalty. Depending on what it is, that is also another penalty. Kinda need something to increase the happiness. Not the happiness, but the growth. Increase in tradable goods. Wells increase growth. Health bonus would increase growth, so yeah. Um But that would also do it. Regional focus would increase happiness. Uh vineyards, you are an olive oil trade. Um which is kind of irritating. That would, well obviously that would increase stuff. Supply of army rations would also, well just increase taxes and decrease taxes all over the place. Um, I'm thinking wells. I don't know, that's not really, that is, that, is, that is still quite significant between turns to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to build wells. Um, that's quite a significant thing. We are building wells here. Rome's already building something. These are all building something. Tarentum is not. Tarentum has a growth bonus. Haven't done any mining yet. Client state barracks are on the stuff. We can build Cretan arches. We're going to get ourselves a nice amount of stuff. We haven't built one of these yet. So if I build, what is this, colonization, that will give me a minus 25% happiness bonus if I build client state barracks as well. With the advent of reforms, many years will disappear from this building. So that will give me allied Shorii, allied Republican cohort, allied equites, allied skirmishes. So far I've only got allied equites and allied cohort. So I'll be getting Triorii and skirmishes. How, why don't I have skirmishes here? Not that I need them, but why don't I have skirmishes? That's really weird. Um, okay. I am not making that much income from it yet, either. Don't need uh, mineral imports. Base for a, a metals import industry that will allow you to make intelligent choices for this region. Because this has, well this has timber rather than metals. But we do have mines. That is that is true. That is why mines. Do we even have mines built? We don't have them built. It's probably better to build the mines first, and then go for a mining district. Um, so that's what plan. I should probably. I'm gonna have to write these down at some point. Um, Dorachium, open pit mines. We've got mines. Share crop mining. Open pit mines. We can um, get us even more. Um, it's not really big increase to be honest. Trade expeditions is a lot. Government determination, we're not going to do that for a while. Regional focus, we're not going to do that either. Uh, we are in pop issues, so I'm tempted to build some wells here as well, and I think that's what we're going to do this. Going to build some wells as well. Wells as well? Wells as well. All is well, because we've got some wells. Well, exactly. Uh, massive growth bonus here, so we don't need to focus on anything really. Uh, that's not what I want to do at all. Um, Shaman details. Thank you. I uh, always show Shaman details. Uh, that's probably not always the best thing to do. Trade summary scroll. Imports and exports. Silver grain timber. Is that exports or imports? But here it tells us exports. Here it tells us imports. Apparently we have a poor harvest, that's not cool. Um, so we don't need wells, I might just get sharecrop mining, what does this give us? Happiness bonus, they're pretty happy, they're actually incredibly happy. It's not really a point, we might as well just get 
Jack rock mining. Aragas. What uh, are you issued with? You have a massive growth. We are going to not do anything. We did get ourselves some real community control, but we don't need it. Imports and exports. These are all, I'm assuming, exports. Because we're getting income from it. I'm not sure. What? That's a fishing village. So there is a mine there. I wish there was an easier way to know what materials are in the province. We're not actually getting much. Kind of just need to increase population. That's a minus population growth bonus. And that is an increased in population growth bonus. We could do that. But we kind of need to, to be honest, that we are. Uh, here, in Lilibeum, we are doing a lot of exporting, I guess. I d I'm not sure. I, I, don't, I don't understand how this works, so... Yeah, I'm going to turn that off because that might get annoying, actually. Um, what do we need here? Not much. We, are, we have a massive growth bonus here. That might need to come under control at some point. We are going to build a market, I think, though, because that seems to be like the best idea. Market it is. Have I put my timer on? I have. I spent five minutes doing this already. Fucking you know. Keralis, government determination, or Wells. Probably Wells. Wells are a nice thing to do. Roads are also good, just because they improve roads and trade, but nothing is traded by roads, so it's kind of pointless. Plus, there's a law bonus involved. There is a tax penalty. I'm going to get a market, and then I'm going to get mines at some point. This This place... It's really doing badly. So we are we are building wells though, so that should increase stuff. And I think that's it. There we go. So that's cool. So now I'm gonna move my agents. I think that I already did that. Yeah, I already did that last turn. Last turn, last time. But non yet, I need to fix something for your medium taxes. You got a good, good growth bonus. But you're also rubbish, so we're gonna build some roads. Cool. That's that. Let's go attack Batavium. General! Attack! How's it going, motherfuckers? Besieging settlement, sir. What's in here? We're going to do nothing for now. I think we probably settlement got under enough. Siege, sir. That's not what I want to do at all. The enemy. Settlement under siege, sir. They've got two cavalries. Cool. Let's go attack them. Let's do General. another Engage strike. We're going to just kill the Bowie. Why not? Do they have any? No. I didn't want to get them to get a garrison bonus, basically, is why I did that. I have two archers and some slingers, so I should be fine when it comes to range attacks. And I've got my sexy strength rowing ballistas. So that's what I'll do. So I shall see you on the battle map. Hey, guys. Oh, excuse me. Jesus Christ. Here we are on the battle map. It seems to be the same type of fort. I think this is just the Gaelic fort. Um, this is just what it's like, so we're going to have a few battles on these. Um, I'm assuming that Rome and Carthage and all the major cities are going to have different kinds of builds, but I'm, I believe I'm too used to seeing it being different because of Rome 2 and Shogun 2 and all that, and everything is very well done uh, to make it seem different. Um, of course, they still have the same types of certain maps and battles, but they do vary quite a lot, which is very nice, and I, I will give props to that. Um, we will put our general back here. We'll put our cavalry on the flank. We'll put our tree rather uh, on this flank, actually. And all we're missing is my slingers. Move out. Who will be March. here and not on fire at will? Awesome. First thing I'm going to do knock down these walls. And then, yeah, attack stuff. I thought I said Bowie Liberation then, and it didn't say Bowie Confederation. So the enemy just seems to be all around the place, really. Their general is down here. Lol. Um. Hmm. 
Right. Let's just ignore that and uh, carry on. <laughs> okay. We're going to stop you right there. Group these together. Group these together. Move up. Here. And once that is done, we can start shooting at everyone. And uh, stuff will be awesome. We're going to destroy this. Because we have to, really. Also going to destroy these at some point. Oh, excuse me. I was about to sneeze in your faces. I've managed to defend myself. Pretend, pretend, my, pretend myself. Yes, that is a word. Archers. Right, what we're going to do now is move these up here. And we're going to move our archers behind them. That was very easy. Apparently not close enough. What about there? Nope. So we are going to move these up as well. I'm going to move these up quite far to here. Pretty confident we're not going to get them killed. But I'm moving up my archers so I can get some fire down on these guys. Obviously not literally fire because we're not going to waste fire arrows which are incredibly inaccurate on these petty peasants with big shields and small swords. And when I mean small swords, I mean they're very small things. True story. Don't ask me how I know them. Um, anyway, moving up. Line of Romans. Ready to storm the walls. They're not going to storm any walls, they're going to go through a door. Whilst the Celtic archers ready their advance rain down the arrows from the sky and if arrows that will blot out the sun which doesn't actually exist it actually technically it should be behind us but um yes well oh I did not know I could do that oh now I do oh no you're attacking here are these guys firing doing a quite a bit of damage which is nice Quite a bit of damage indeed. I wish I had Cretans. I'm going to make some Cretans when I'm at, we're out of the battle. Just to reinforce every army. I need to sort myself out with a um, a default. Nicely done, my dears. Uh, sort myself out with a default uh, build. I'm thinking 8 legions, like 8 legionaries or Hisdati or whatever. Two Triarii, four Cav, two Cretans, the general, and um, two blisters. But I don't think that fills it up, and I might have to increase stuff. I just realised where that went. That went incredibly far off. That was pretty terrible. That looks promising. for this. Did I kill I didn't even kill one. These horsemen are a bit over the, you know, t yeah, all over the place. I think it's the best way to, to find that. That is going way short. So we're just going to have a little bit of fun with a stone frame ballista, just because it's fun to kill stuff in one shot. And if they get too close, we archer them a bit. Oh, set this. We are going for this thing, by the way, which is hilarious how far these guys are. That What the hell is that going? What the hell was that? What the hell are these guys doing? That is d d despicably shit. These guys are silver. They should be accurate. Is there even a way to improve accuracy? I don't even know if experience increases accuracy. I know it increases damage and armor. Alright, these guys are getting close enough to get archered. Oh. That was terrible. 
Even the ones in Rome 2 aren't that terrible. And I control those myself. Because it's fun. That was even more terrible. Hey, we did nothing. Come on, you can do better than that. The more I kill now, the less I have to kill later with my swords. Oh yeah, you have to move up for that. Okay, well what we're going to do then is set up a stage 2 front. Have these. Yeah, we're going to accelerate it. Hopefully, it won't lag too bad. No, it's good. It's actually pretty bad lag, but it'll do. I'm trying to press the play button. Here. Thank you. All right, we are going to destroy these towers. They got some. Oh, these are just swordsmen. Oh, there's some slingers. There's some actual range units. Come yeah, on. See, those are so accurate, well, I don't understand why the fire ones are so inaccurate. Because, I mean, the fire ones don't do that much damage when you think about it. Break the gates. Break them. Where the hell did that go? <laughs> Lol. Come on. Break it. Break it with your face. These guys are terrible. <laughs> so many dead here though. That's that's nice to see. There we go. This is the uh, damage of the... Uh, what's it called? I already said it in a previous episode. There's no point repeating myself, but the eastern village. Eastern town, there we go. Oh, someone disappeared. Oh, these are wrecked. Boop. Did I literally just fire at these guys? Why Why would you do that? Come on, fire! I want thing right in the middle. Look, they're so bunched up. How can you miss that? You can miss that pretty easily, actually. Yeah, but not that badly, come on. There we go. Look at those three horsemen. That was a pretty horrible way to die, to be honest. Oh, getting them now. Getting them now, right here. It would just be so good. Medieval 2 was amazing when it came to that kind of... brutal fire trebuchet shot in your face. And you're just like, oh my god. That is ridiculous. Right, I think... These guys are terrible, so I might just move in with my military. Yeah, you guys are terrible. We're going to take you off fire at will. Off fire at will? Off um, fire. Just fire. Because you're way more accurate. Probably won't do as much damage. Still do damage. So I'd rather actually do damage. What the hell is happening here? Bouncy bouncy, that's what. They're still really inaccurate, apparently. Oh, we lost two men. See, the thing is, it doesn't. I doubt Great I even kills them. Our soldiers have done well yeah, it this day. Kill, well, the it does walls kill are yeah. taken. This just doesn't do a lot of damage. Kills one or two. I just know I want these guys to run. These guys aren't, yes they are. Guard mode firing well. We have got archers firing down on them as well. And we are going to stop these from firing. And we're just going to let them come at our shields. 
take peelers to the face, arrows to the face, swords to the face, kicks to the face, shields to the face. That is the motto of my legion. <laughs> take everything to the face! No, not my face! Come on, guys. These guys take forever. It's ridiculous how long it So the Primaris legions are in. It's bringing our Triori. You guys can run. That is an option. Get these three up here. You're going here and you're going here, so never mind. I'm just going to rush these. You are going to peel of these. Give some butt peeler. Butt peeler! It was really brutal. And just descend on them. Good boys. Which one, boys? <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys form up. Group of three. You guys decimate the last of these. We're fighting to the death. And we are very much obliged. You give in to their demands of fighting for the death by killing them all. Very brutal slaughter. Put these back here. Did I just take. Yeah, I did. Take one of these. You guys go up here. Throwing stuff at them. That these guys are going to charge at each other. These guys, are oh, none of them are running. We're going to archer it up as well. Going to move our archers in. You guys are going to run. They do have a lot of people. I think they've retreated a lot of their men up here, though. I think their generals has moved up, but I'm not entirely sure. Has he moved up? Is he still stuck there? Yes, he is. He's still stuck there. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Not entirely sure what's happening. Don't really mind. Okay, that was pretty terrible. Bad. You guys should be firing your peeler down here instead. Well, that was apparently enough to take them out. Wish there was a way. I wish there was a way to customize each unit so that I could give each unit a name, a little individual banner, or like a like they would have the they would have a legion banner and then a little symbol next to each banner to define what um, cohort they were in. And you can have like, oh, this is first cohort. This is co Cohort Eagle Smasher or whatever. I don't know. I can't think of a good name right now. Um, and then just like see how they progress. That'd be awesome. I know technically Napoleon Total War had that um, because you could rename units, but it was mm, kind of limited, really. I guess it wasn't because it did highlight exactly what it is. So it wasn't limited at all. It was exactly what you wanted. Um, except there was no customization of different kind of banners and stuff um, but that's not really a necessary point but it would have been it would have been nice to have that in like Rome 2 or Rome or yeah in this game as well I'm literally just moving these because I've got nothing better to do by the way these guys are capable more than capable taking these guys out 
we're going to accelerate, however, because I have a feeling that might take forever. We're going to pause it here, or not. We're going to play it here. Oh, are they broken? They seem to be broken. Firing our arrows at the fleeing barbarian slingers. One volley is all we need, apparently. Flow into here. Also going to move our archers forward. Uh, as forward as forward can get, really. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. We are going to go here. All these guys. Also these guys. All move the advantage. Press it. Like lemons. What am I doing? Why am I on like accelerated continuity? Stop! Fucking play! 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 <laughs> what a waste, Peeler. This is pretty much overkill right now. Signal to your right to take out the general who seems to be lagged out. Not lagged out, but glitched out. That's the word I'm looking for. These guys are in a very good position to wreck my lines, to be honest. So, um, let's send some archers at them. Hopefully my arrows will find their targets. Well, these guys seem not to be firing at them. Oh. We will thus turn from here. Come on, guys. These are only light infantry as well. Come on. Being scrubs. I may lose a few men in the process, but this is a very nice way to get into their units so that you can take them out one on one. It's especially useful against spears because, like, spearmen suck on one on one combat with swordsmen. I'm going to send in one unit of cavalry and his friend. We'll get two units of cavalry, will do. And we are going to charge forth against the bloody barbarians. Yeah, these guys are glitching out pretty badly. I'm on partially accelerated right now. These guys are so glitched. Look at that. I guess that's what happens when you get custom um, maps and shit. This guy's glitched out to, to the bitch. Glitch to the bitch. I'm sorry, are those slingers? Meet my cavalry, bitches. Quite a bit of damage there. Oh, yeah, look at these custom things. They're basically elongated horses because of this is an elongated bit of uh, map. Wow, we absolutely decimated those. Um, let's get ourselves here then. Let's um heavy. so they do have some form of heavy infantry. Charge 
This is the worst place for cavalry, actually. Oh! Get your asses back in here. I do not want you attacking spearmen. You idiot! What did I just say? Listen to me! That is literally how it happens. Charge! Is that their own general? What are these doing? Glitching. I have killed a few. I haven't gone into attack with them though. I literally just killed a few. So we are going to lose quite a few men, but this is just a waiting game now and just waiting for all them all to get killed. <laughs> Once they're all dead, we can finish the episode. Take. Well, we killed the Bowie at that point. Um, Massim would have lost a dear ally. And then we will have completed this episode. Looking forward to the next of us, we'll be taking another settlement, this time from the rebels. And just literally just being dicks to everything rebelish. Come on, kill the last dudes. There's like one guy left. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, there you go, now it's a waiting game. Since the general is broken. Oh, it seems that my men are also slightly broken. bring these guys along. It's a bit late, but whatever. Awesome, so now we just play the waiting game. Oh, apparently someone went in the camp. We still in battle with someone. Oh. Well, the enemy the general. general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack! Probably gonna flee at some point. And victory. Awesome. Rome demands victory from her generals. We lost only 800 men. Uh, uh, yes, we lost only 800 men. Victory. That's totally what, exactly what happened. And biggest losses, allied cohorts as usual. Oh, I seem to have just gone into the loading screen rather than end the fucking thing there. I do apologise, but you're going to have a look for this since I'm talking through it. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good set of episodes. These will be on Tuesday and Thursday, so this will be on Thursday. Tomorrow you can expect the final parts of the novelist. Um, if you haven't been watching the novelist, then I do really recommend it. It is a brilliant puzzle storytelling game. Um, and is very, 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 very fun. Well, it's not very, very fun. It's very... I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting game. If you didn't like the first few, the first two episodes, then um, it's probably not a game for you then. But it's a really interesting episode. Anyway, advertising my own content. I'm allowed to do that, I swear. So, victory. We've taken Patavium. And we've crushed the Bowie, I'm assuming. Settlement capture. Uh, depopulate enslave. Depopulate... Oh, we haven't destroyed the Bowie. They still have somewhere around. Yep. Maybe. I can't remember what the Bowie looks like. Maybe not. I don't even know. Well, there are still Bowie around. Where they are, nobody knows. Uh, we are going to build roads. That is the first thing I want to build here. Okay, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Romus Rectum 2. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next week for more Romus Rectum 2, episode 10. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.